Okay, we are live. Sorry, guys, I am four minutes late. I could not get my Zoom to live stream. Um, there was a glitch. We were running tests all morning for the new website. So my apologies, but I'm here. I am live in your group. Um, welcome. Welcome to week five. We made it. Uh, we are almost there. Basically six weeks of the earth in five dimensions. Hopefully you guys are having an opportunity to enjoy um, the breakdown that I'm giving you guys. You know, what I try to do is, is connect the dots and make it really, really, really easy to understand this whole ascension evolutionary phase that we're in. And as we get to week five of our kind of um, summary, because that's really all it can be with such a short amount of time, that we kind of want to look back and be like, okay, where have we, how, where did we start? Where are we now? And obviously by now you can understand that the earth in five dimensions for you the way that you're going to be able to view it with your senses and your mind and your perception of reality is that it isn't a destination or a location, but it is a state of being. So for you, because this is a holographic experience, kind of a dream within a dream within a dream, that it is going to be ultimately your chronic interior, not exterior vibration, that determines your state of being and your state of being, which it means what chronically and coherently is vibrating within you is going to be the basis of your personal reality. Okay. So what we're generating here right now, using everything from the astrological shifts that are happening and retrograde and, and lunar eclipses and full moons and solar flares and meteors and everything that the the um, that the game is distributing for us is aligning us into shifting our level of awareness and consciousness, bringing more light and expansion into our field of awareness so that we may be at that middle perspective or that zero point energy field where we can make a choice. Remember last week I told you guys trust and choice. That is going to be kind of your secret weapon. Each week I've been kind of giving you guys these secret frequencies that are not secret. They're just more of um, biohacks that allow you to be able to be able to check in with yourself and be like, what is my level of trust with myself? Am I constantly getting excited, accelerating, and then doubting, and then shame and guilting myself based on my choices? Am I looking to my outside reflection to determine who I am? Am I, am I getting activated by everybody around me? Because your state of being is basically, um, if I were going to try to describe what the universe actually sees you as, is so much different, so much different than the way you see yourself, okay? And here's why. And I have done lots of workshops on this. I've got 6,000 hours of archived training about this subject that I'm about to tell you about. You are a fractal piece of your consciousness within one being. You are the me, myself, and I. The yogis call it the, you know, the body, mind, soul. Well, I'm going to call it the me, myself, and I for a fourth grade understanding of quantum reality. So there is a byproduct of you that is your I am presence. Your I am presence remains on the other side of the veil, off planet, let's say, you know, trying to use that joystick to talk to you because you're an archetype focused consciously in the third dimension and you are strung together through your I am or your higher self, some call it. OK, so there is already a fractal of consciousness because the I am is too much light to be able to enter the planet. It would explode the planet because of how big your I am presence is. So you basically take off a piece of your consciousness and you embed it into a body and then you start playing this like virtual reality game. Now, this body consciousness has its own consciousness. So already there's a couple different personality sequences going on in the suit that you're wearing. The body consciousness, which is basically based in primal death and survival mechanisms. OK, it's preloaded with genetics. It's preloaded with ancestral programs, earth programs, third dimensional programs, right? 
And so you're inhabiting a body that is a fully working, automatic, autopilot type of beingness. So there's the I am beingness, there's the body conscious beingness. And what happens is these two these two beingnesses can't merge into oneness because of the level of density that reside within the opposing forces. So if your I am is too light and your body density is too low conscious or unconscious, then what we do is we use this kind of middle consciousness or with the bridge consciousness or your inner child consciousness to be able to talk to dad and mama. Right. And that's really how I kind of teach it to make it very, very simple is that you have this divine masculine, this divine feminine, this divine darkness, divine light or shadow. And then you have this kind of inner child that is the piece of your I am and the piece of your material body that formulates a consciousness that has a huge amount of desire. OK, this is where your desire comes from. This is where your need for experiences, your need for adventure, your your want of, of creativity and expression. Now, the body part of you wants that material world. It wants to it wants to have the house. The inner child wants to play in the house, the ego or the body might um, identity wants the car the inner child wants to go fast in the car and the I am presence is watching how you are fulfilling your own desires and hitting against your unconsciousness to awaken to return back to the I am presence from an unevolved place right this will all be in my upcoming workshop um, called vision quest which you guys are currently embarking whether you take my workshop or not you are on a vision quest into the fifth dimension. Now, again, it's not a journey, even though we could technically say it feels like one. It is a state of being. It is a level of moving into a higher level of self-realization. Now, that self-realization finally gets you to this determining factor that all of your desires have helped you amplify your awareness and amplify your state of being it back into grace. So after this workshop, I am going to post or have my faithful, wonderful partner, Frank, post my, my broken down frequency scale to let you guys see exactly how the vibrational fields work between the me, myself, and I. See, the I am presence is always vibrating in a state of peace. It's complete. It's finished. Right? You think that higher self is your, is your excitement, but that's actually the inner child. The inner child is what carries the excitement within you. Now, if that inner child is unhealed or unsupported by both the ego mentality or the body and the I am presence, the super consciousness within you, that excitement will feel like anxiety, that that excitement will feel like panic. So when we regulate and clear out the emotional field of the body and we heal from that dense unconscious place and we rise above it using desire, desire is your engine, you guys, without desire, you go nowhere. Um, that's why it's always good to not be in your comfort zone because you're moving into your hopefully desired route. So within the me, myself and I, this bridge part is really about the inner child is the one that can move back and forward on the timeline. The inner child can move all the way into the heavens and go deep, 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 deep down into hell. Now, if I were going to give a metaphor of what is currently happening on the planet, I would say that if we flip through the Bible, right, and again, never personally read it, but I have downloaded it, that it says basically that we all will be walking through the shadow of death. And this is what we are currently doing as a collective. Sounds fun, right? No, it's not. But it is awakening and pressurizing the diamond within you. It is pushing at your heartstrings, at your injustice programs, at your lineage, bloodline, ancestral, all tied in with a few special peppered frequencies. And here's the frequencies that are really accelerated right now into the body density. And that is shame, guilt, anger, and grief. If I was going to say, what is it, what are humans feeling right now? Those four frequencies. What's going to help you move into taking your power back 
right? Self-love, um, speaking your truth, standing up for yourself, creating a new planet. We're going to use leverage, right? We're going to use leverage to get us to move because if the fire doesn't get hot enough, you're not going to get out of the way. So it requires some universal assistance at times to make us uncomfortable so that we will evolve, which means that if we're going to get to fifth dimension through the state of being and through self-realization, because it is a state of being, both heaven and hell are technically described as these places. But again, it isn't a place, it's a state of being, which means you don't need to pack your bags and leave your loved ones. You're going to change your interior universe to be that which you want to see. So you have already experienced hell if you've been living on planet Earth for the last, I don't know, any 14,000 years, right? Because before that, it was much more like heaven. It was the utopia of this Atlantean spectrum that we came from. Well, we didn't do so good with those opportunities. So we are back on planet to basically amend ourselves and move back from a deascension place into a reascension with basically all of that information coded DNA within us. Okay. So we are waking back up to the fact that we are technically superheroes in this body, but we have turned ourselves down. We have given our power away. We have bought into the fact that we are, are living a false sense of abundance that we are comfortable slaves. And that has been what's really rattled our cages with this pandemic lately. This pandemic has made you feel the cage that you're in. You literally can't outrun it and run towards the future and bypass and avoid using some sort of medicative device or belief system to avoid the past. So the past is catching up with us. And that's what these beautiful retrogrades are giving us right now is they're catching up with us. We're having to look in the mirror. We're having to take full responsibility of our own consciousness of the shame and guilt that is still buried in the body itself, whether it's ours, whether it's our moms, our dads, our grandparents, our ancestors. It doesn't really matter whose it is, as if it's in your collective vibration, you're responsible to clear it right? Which is what you did. You're like, okay, I'm God. I can come down here. I can have this little human experience with all these modern technology. It'll be a cush little exciting life, but not so much. All right. It's more about evolving the unvolved, the unevolved part of you. There is huge amounts of ignorance that reside in your human body that you don't pay attention to because you're not that good of friends with this body that you're in. You have disconnected from it. You have disassociated from it. You have abused it. It has abused you. It's dysfunctional. It is constantly in a state of comparison and jealousy and anger and frustration and confusion. And therefore, this reality, the next step to get you to 5D is to get you into your body, which means that you have to make an amends with your body. You know, I see these metaphors all over the planet, Black Lives Matter, you know, racism, separation, segregation. You guys, we've been here a hundred times. The metaphor of everything that is manifesting right now in our collective is to look at how we are feeling that way towards ourselves. You know, it, it's um, it's very easy for you to project yourself outside of your your inner interior universe and choose and decide who you are and what you are based on how you feel. But those feelings are mirrored consciousnesses of you, which means whatever you're feeling about yourself is a fractal or of a mirror of something that is within you. So if racism bothers you. And I'm not saying it's a bad or a good thing because technically in the fifth dimension, there is no bad or good. Everything is limited based in potential. There is no judgment in the fifth dimension. So of course, racism doesn't actually exist, but to use it as a metaphor of what we're experiencing and what is ripping the shadows within us right now is teaching us 
to look at where I have separated, segregated, and judged who I am. Because the I am feels bigger than life. It feels like, you know, higher self. It feels expansive. It feels angelic. It feels supernatural. And then you're sitting in a body that you're not sure what it's supposed to eat. You don't know how to heal it. You don't know why you can't get the money that you want. You're judging your either academic level level or your intelligence level. You're judging the fact that, you know, you're still carrying all this pain or weight or whatever the metaphor is there. And therefore, your only desire is to separate from the body and run towards the spiritual movement or higher levels of consciousness. But you didn't actually come to save the world. You came to save yourself. You came to save this body. You came to pick this body up and teach it love. You came to show this body that it is not built to be in survival. It is built to be in thrive. And as the coming home happens between the I am and the body through the inner child, a happy family forms. Now, a happy family built in unity creates, projects, reflects a happy community outside of ourselves because what you're seeing actually outside of you is a reflection. Now, we all are seeing a lot of the same things. So how is it that I'm seeing what you're seeing? But we have bodies that have been on this planet incarnating, 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 incarnating with the fragments of our DNA for thousands of years. So there is downloaded programs to be able to see as a collective what is manifesting and so that we all feel like we're having a similar experience, but we're not. Because bottom line is you have ultimate choice in how you get to live in this body if you will. So week five of the earth in five dimensions is what is your right now relationship with your body, okay? What is your level of trust here? Do you know what foods you need to eat or want to eat that make you feel like you are thriving, not existing, not emotionally comfortable, right? Not satisfied, thriving. Are you purposely through the I am consciousness, moving and using resistance to amplify your body's potential, okay? Uh, human word here is uh, exercise or wiggling, right? Moving, dancing, you know, walking, exercising, stretching, breathing, because it is not going to happen, guys. You will not get over the bridge without your body. The body is what you have been waiting to heal, not your economic structure, not your religions, not your country, not your government, and not Mother Earth. She's got her stuff on point. She don't need your help, but what she does need is for you to be the child that she birthed into this consciousness. So your job is to evolve and begin to activate this DNA within yourselves that is the Christed consciousness, but it will not activate or turn on unless you are present. You have to be present to drive your vehicle because when you're not present, there is a consciousness that knows how to, to drive your vehicle. And we call that the ego consciousness. And the ego consciousness is basically the traumatized inner child within you. It is the the bad behavior, it is the critic of the past, it is the shame and the guilt, it is the humiliation buildup, it is the memories of the past that hold you into that third dimensional state of being and make you pay for everything you have done or haven't done out of shame and guilt. So when I share this, um, and maybe if Frank is watching, he can post my frequency chart because you will literally see that as long as you have a relationship with your body in these lower frequencies, you will find yourself going 10 steps forward and 10 steps back in physical reality. You know, I'm going to give you a secret here. The money that you want does not come from your paycheck. It comes from the relationship that you have with your body. It had because your body is the mechanism of manifestation. 
your body is the, the magnetic, the electromagnetic energy that pulses desired energy towards it. Okay. But if you're not here, do you know what your body is actually calling for? Your body is calling to get your attention. So your body is going to call from any form of attention that it can to get you to come home. Now, if you've ever been around children, who gets more attention? The loud, obnoxious crybaby, right? The, the child that's constantly delivering bad behavior or the quiet child that's reading in the corner. So how is your life a basically a call for you to come home? You need to come home to your body. You need to repair the relationship with how you think you look, how you think you are as far as intelligence levels, what you are judging yourself on your economic structures, and what you do with your personal time, okay? So I have two workshops that basically get you into a healthy marriage because it's basically about marriage counseling and reparenting this situation called warrior training. And warrior training is when you get to know your inner narcissist and you take full responsibility for your victim and perpetrator mentalities towards yourself. And then the I am workshop is the second phase of that that gets you into ultimate alignment of the I am higher self. And obviously my new workshop uh, vision quest that starts in July 1st is all about bringing those two together and moving into that heaven on earth because hell is breaking loose. I'll be talking about this in Second Sunday tomorrow. Hell is breaking loose, which means that it's opening up, that you are going, whoa, I didn't even know I've been in hell this whole time. I didn't even know how good I could feel. I don't even know what we could create. I got to get mad first because my anger is my elevator emotion. It's going to help me rise into my power. I've got to think about, do I really, do I really want to continue to carry this, this guilt, shame, humiliation in my body towards myself? Yes, I've made mistakes. We all have from that level of unconsciousness. We have all done things to ourselves and others that we regret that literally are the ball and change around us moving into the fifth dimension. We all have that resentment towards those who have heartstrings connected to our freedom. Okay. We all have insecurities and lack programs running with our own economics because, hey, in the spirit world, we're all multi, multi billionaires, right? So when we come down here and we've got to, you know, be a good girl and a good boy to get paid, it feels very out of alignment. So there's a lot of cleanup that has to happen with this body. So in these last three minutes, I'm just going to give you guys some key elements that you can do to kind of work on this relationship with your body and move into an alignment state to get to drive this vehicle into a higher state of being, into that thing we call bliss, moving out of anxiety into chronic excitement, moving out of doubt and worry into um, ideas and creativity because your body is literally waving the SOS flag for you to come home and heal it. So I see that you're out. I see not you necessarily, per, per, you know, precisely, but our, our um, collective is out demonstrating the lack of freedom and justice that's going on in the world while we sit and neglect ourselves. And if I am beaming the universal structure of my reality through the interior world, that is better. That is where I better be working first. OK, so get to know your body in meditation instead of using meditation to check out check in feel every cell feel your heartbeat from the inside feel your breath get to know who this is ask yourself why would I choose this why would I choose both of these parents what is it about these parents that gave me potentials even though I'm sitting in limits what is it about my joy and my desire that might be linked to my purpose it is time for you to move and strengthen your body because it is a battle of the fittest right now. If you do not have a fit, healthy body, this is going to feel a lot harder in time and space because time and space is beginning to disappear. And the more density you have, the heavier you're going to feel in the fifth dimension. OK, so lighten up your body, lighten up your mind. When you go into all the thought forms, drop back into your heart and ask yourself, what do I really love? Play the gratitude game. 
play the duality game. These are all things that are on my YouTube channel and on my Facebook pages. They're all techniques to biohack you and get you into a relationship. You know, it's like when two people fight who really, really love each other and they get an opportunity to calm down and they go, gosh, you know what? I was angry. I was frustrated. I wanted to leave you. But this is why I really love you, because it's time for you to come home to yourself if you want to get the rest of the way. So next week, obviously, there's a thousand more things. There's a thousand more things, but that is your basics. Next week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the last week six of our Earth in Five Dimensions workshop with a very special light language transmission for you to help you activate and open up your... DNA, move you into alignment of that Christed consciousness, which is you, and allow you to feel the essence of that higher self moving in before I give you your last workshop. So that's what we have coming up next week. Hopefully you got some nuggets from today. Hopefully it's time that you say, okay, I'm, I'm not going to get to 5D in that state of consciousness unless I sit with the mirror and look for the things that you judge on others inside of yourself. Look for the things you fear and look at where the wounding is. Deal with the trauma, feel your feelings, sit with yourself. Because one thing I tell my class all the time is that a lot of us have this wounding around time. Like I'm running out of time. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna be able to get there. But what it, how it actually works in the universe is that if you take time to get balanced within yourself, you have a quantum leaping experience, which means it's kind of like the tortoise and the hare. If you take the time to do the work, you accelerate past everyone else, okay? You accelerate to the head of the class. But if you're trying to outrun yourself in order to get to the end, to get to the finish line, to get to 5D, it works like a big old loop and you end up going right back to where you started. And I know you felt that this last year. I know you've had that expression. So where you're feeling that, look at where you're avoiding, where you're medicating, and where you're using addictions to hide your insecurities, your unhealthiness, and your unawareness towards yourself. Thank you guys so much for giving me this opportunity to speak in this wonderful platform. Thank you to Paul. Thank you for everybody who runs this group. And I will see you all next week for our last, our last workshop. Bye for now.